I'm not sure when this all started. All I know is that we've all been in the same class together for five years, and it's never been this bad. First we tried talking things out, but then we ignored everything. And then I remembered the presentation in Pep on Ho'oponopono. see you all here today. Does anyone know about Queen Lilia Klein Children's Center? Yeah, I remember coming to a Christmas party last year. Oh yeah, I remember we came to get school supplies one time. The Queen left money for the orphans and the destitute children. My uncle died and my auntie got help with my cousins. Glad that some of you are familiar with what we're doing in the committee, our community. I'd like to ask you all to go around and introduce yourself. Kaili. Javana. Hi, I'm Ku'u. I'm Khalil. I'm Chantilly. Jovina. Jordan. I'm Mrs. Janice. Auntie Rowena. And I'm Kupuna Thelma. I'd like to ask um, Auntie Rowena to share with the process of Ho'oponopono. Before a Ho'oponopono session can begin, the Haku will seek spiritual guidance to set the tone through a pule vehi. Kukulu kumuhana is an identification and discussion of whatever problems there are. Mihi is a confession and kala is forgiveness. Once the haku determines that the pilikia is resolved, she will oki all bad feelings. And once it is oki, it's not to be brought up or mentioned again. The next step is the pule ho'opau, and that's the closing prayer. Once that is finished, the next step is the pani or closing, which is in the sharing of a meal through the pa'ina. I would like to remind each of you to speak directly to the haku. Thank you, Rowena. Are there any questions? At this time, I'd like to say the pule. Dear Lord, I'm going to ask for your divine presence amongst this hope and honor session today. Thank you for one and all that's here. It's, they become Lord with an open mind. I ask that you also look at their hearts. Guide us all and keep us all well. And most of all, during this session, Lord, Help us to see how much we can do for one another. Guide us in your ways. Amen. Thank you all for coming. I understand not everyone wanted to be here at this session, um, but I really needed a commitment from all of you. Now, who wants to share? We are all in Miss Genesis' pep class, and we are on our way to do a presentation, and I was in the bus, minding my own business, and I was writing in my book, listening to my music, and I heard later that Giovanna was telling everybody that I was writing and talking about them. Nah, -uh. 
Javon told me about Jordan, and I believed her because I saw him give me the stink eye. I was just minding my own business. I don't know what you guys got to think that for. Well, you guys talking to Randy Mott, so I figure only common sense you writing about us when you give stink eye. Now, what was one of the rules of Ho'oponopono? In order for Ho'oponopono to work, you need to speak directly to the haku, okay? Okay. Chantilly, would you like to share? We've been friends like forever, and really close enough like a family. But now, it feels like I can't trust anyone. It's just not the same. Kupuna, now it seems like we're never even friends. We're talking about each other and being mean to one another. And once we even got into a fight, I'm feeling so scared. Our friendship just gonna break up. This is what happens when gossip spreads and others assume, you assume what others are saying. It causes a lot of problems. Who else would like to share? If we're so close, then why is my money missing? When did this happen? Last week in class, everyone knows I always put my bag in the same place. And when I went to get my wallet, it was gone. By the way, Kalel, you remember your jacket you loaned me last week? I got it. Here's your jacket. Bro, just drop it already. Be grumbling about this for days. Isn't our friendship more important than money? You shouldn't talk. It's not your money. So what you saying? Bro, you guys better check yourself because you got to talk to the haku. One of the reasons you speak to the haku is so the anger stays here.